Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first voice commentary video. Please watch to the end and let me know what do you think about it. Since Star Disability event has returned to Maple City, I've decided to do this short intro, uh, short guide video on this event. Like how this event works and how you could make use of it in the game to progress. Sorry that this video doesn't come before the event started. Right, let's get into it. If you didn't know yet, this event is mainly a meal training event. For those of you who don't know what meal means, meal basically means the other character you have aside from your main character or some means. If you are new to the game, training meals is one of the best way of improving your character since you can get a lot of free stats and stats that are very rare like critical damage, buff duration, drooling skills and maple union. I won't talk a lot about the details on link skills and union in this video, but I'll try to make a basic guide to those in the future videos. So remember to hit the subscribe and bell button to not miss my new videos. Yuki made a very good video on planning characters to level. If you're looking for that, be sure to check out his video, which I'll put the link in the description below. Okay. So how does this event works? A message will pop up in the character selection screen when you select your character. This is only if you have two or more characters. This will then let you choose which character you want to link with this character that you select. The higher level will be considered as star tier and the lower level one will be considered as CLB. When you enter the game, there will be a bar at top left or maybe a, I should call it a gauge, a gauge, gauge, whatever. At top left, top left of the game, showing your farming progression. When you farm level range mobs, the gauge will fill up with bonus EXP. You can get this bonus EXP by logging in to the character that you link with. So. The EXP is based on the link character rather than the farmed character. That means linking a 250 character to a 100 level character and linking a 150 character to a 100 level character will give the same amount of EXP to the 100 level character. I think I should probably repeat that again, it's a bit confusing. So if you have a 250 character, you link it with the level 100 character it will be the same EX amount of EXP given to the 100 level character even if you link it to a 150 character. I will put the link at the description on the data of the EXP for each level in the description below if you want to see them. Credit is not for me, by the way. You will need to kill 3, I mean 3000 mobs up the gauge which is the maximum bonus exp you can get each day for the link character don't worry this is the two-sided farming event farming on tatia's gauge won't do anything to sell this gauge so if you max tatia's bar and then you go to sell D, the bar will still be empty and then you can repeat that 3000 mobs again before we go further, please note that zeros cannot participate in this event. Other than the bonus experience, once the bar, the gauge is max, the link character will get a buff. If that's a character farm like 3000 range, level range mob, Xiaoti will get a times 1.5, so 50% extra EXP buff for until midnight. The other way around would be Tati will get something like a, a super OP buff, like a, a normal mob damage uh, plus 30%, boss damage 30%, crit damage 30%, crit rate 30%, and 50 attack and magic attack. I'm not sure if I get that right, but something, some really crazy buff. It's best, best to max the gauge at Tati first so that self D can use of the free 50 extra 50% EXP when farming to like the bar but of course it depends on your aim of the day 
let's say if you want to train your level 140 mil, the damage isn't good enough to one shot the mobs. What you can do is you link this to a lower level character, so this becomes the Dazian. When you max out the bar at the lower level character, which is the CLT, the buff will appear in 140 level character, which will give you 30% more damage to mobs, 30% crit damage, and 30% crit rate. This will definitely help with your training. And when you're done with farming 3000 mobs again, don't forget to log in back to the other character, to the link character, to receive the bonus EXP. Farming 6000 mobs per day is going to be quite tiring, so do help each other out. Since you can leech the mob kill from party, as long as the mob is, uh, is at your level range. It's best to get the Kana to help either to just dish in you or to help you clear the map. And also finding maps with enormous spawn rather than high EXP with lesser spawn will save you a lot of time filling the gauge. Let's call that the, the lazy way. But trust me, the bonus, bonus EXP is more than the EXP you get with 3000 mobs you kill unless you are farming in a training, actual training map with EXP buffs. Once you are done for, for the day, the buffs will stay until midnight. If you want to change and link to a different character, remember to unlink it before midnight, which is before the next day. You cannot link again in the same day after you unlink. If you, unlink, if you unlink it past midnight, you won't be able to relink again for the next day. Then you will need to wait until the day after to be able to link again. So really be careful on the timing. Before we finish off, just, just remember that you can always link to a different character. How you link your characters is highly dependent on your progress. Just a reminder here that you don't always have to link your main to a male. It could be linking sub main to a male or male to male or even main to sub main. So do think about it before you link them. Okay, so that's for the leveling side of the event. Other than leveling, you can also benefit a lot from the event at the other, the other area too. Like since that gives such OP buff to your Tatia character, you can try to use the buff for whatever purpose you need. Like let's say breaking your dojo record, killing boss, higher like those boss that you usually couldn't kill with your body or something, or solo, or buffs to help training it, like I mentioned just now. Something to expect is that you possibly can increase one to or two flaws in dojo. Last one will be, I will quickly go over some statistics of the experience that are not really accurate, only approximate like from my previous experience in this event. Considering max gauge, the link character can get from level 10 to 56, 130 to 138, and about 2 to 3 levels if you are level 180 over up to one level around 200 and 8% or more around 205 plus we that I remember is about 30% when, when you're at Chiu Chiu which is uh, level 210 I don't really remember the level range but it seems like it's an exponential curve the higher level it goes the less you get I mean the less percent you get there, that's for sure but also bear in mind that the higher level it goes the more difficult it is to train without these ideas. So in that sense, I do think it's still a very good opportunity to level all those level 140s of yours to 200 since it's rather easy to train when it's lower level. Of course, this is totally depend dependent on what kind of player you are and what character you are playing with this event. So give it a try and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. I hope this video helps and covers everything you need to know about this event. Do comment below if I miss out any important thing so that the others can see. 
or rather long commentary and thank you for watching today remember to always be kind to other players in the game good luck have fun and i'll see you in the next video